Hello friends, again warm welcome to Fisheries Only, Nourishing Fish, Nurturing Life Educational YouTube channel. Have a nice day. Today we will discuss the multiple choice questions on paper number first that is Ethio Taxonomy and Ecological Adaptation part first. The ET is mostly helpful for in online examination. Now due to corona pandemic situation students are uh, giving examination online and mostly the papers are set by in the format of mcq pattern so there is a try to make a familiar to the mcq pattern so my request to students to write down the correct answer previously and check the result on yourself before I am going to answer you have to write down the answer on paper and then count the answers how many you get correct answers out of 20 MCQs let's move first MCQ is which of the following fin of fish is unpaired fin? Unpaired fin means there is a fin which have unpaired and other type is paired fins. And the options are caudal fin, pectoral fin, pelvic fin or D option is all of the above. And the right answer is caudal fin. Caudal fin is a unpaired fin. Second, anadromous fishes moves from. Anadromous is a migration. In that type of migration, in these fishes moves from. Option is river water to sea. Second, sea water to river. Third, sea to estuary. And estuary to sea. The right answer is sea water to river. Anadromous fishes mostly comes toward the freshwater fishes from marine water environment. Third MCQ Catadromous fishes migrate from dash dash to dash dash. A. C to river. B. Issuri to freshwater. C. C to Issuri. And D. Freshwater to sea. And the right answer is freshwater to see catadromous fishes migrate toward the sea water. Fourth, luminescent organs are called as A. Photophores B. Electric organ C. Neuromost organ D. Electroplates And the right answer is photophores. Fifth, what we call to dorsal lobe of caudal fin. In each fin, there is two lobes that is upper lobe, that is dorsal lobe and ventral lobe, that is the lower lobe. And the dorsal lobe is called as, the option is protocaudral, notochordral, C, hypocaudral and D, epicaudral. And the right answer is epicaudral lobe, upper lobe of dorsal of caudal fin is called as epicaudral lobe. Sixth example of poisoner fish is dash dash, raja, b scorpion fish, c balanophore, labisca. And the right answer is a scorpion fish. Scorpion fish is a poisonous fish. Seven MCQ. Air bladder is dash dash. First A option. Hydrostatic organ of bony fishes. Hydrostatic organ of cartilage fishes. Excretory organ of diphnoid. And D option is all. And the right answer is a hydrostatic organ of bony fishes. 
it mirror cells are called as xanthophores chromatophores melanophores and iridocytes the right answer is iridocytes which of the following fish is called as a indian major carp the carp which grows better and in india it is called as indian major carp that is indigenous carp of india and options are katla katla serianus regala c labio rohita and d or the right answer is all these three are called as indian major carps these three carps are called as that is katla rohu and mriga are called as indian major carp and the scientific names are katla katla serianus regala and labio rohita 10 mcq amphidromous migration found in this is a type of migration and the options are angola herrings gobies and hilsa and the right answer is uh, gobies in amphidromous migration gobies move from sea water to fresh water and fresh water to sea water both wave migration are occurring amphidromous migration 11 mcq anterior middle and posterior process present in first that is claustrum b that is capium third intercalarium and d is a tripus these four options are parts of weperen ossicles and anterior middle and posterior process are present on option d tripus the correct answer is tripus 12th mcq which of the following is a correct sequence of bones in oberon ossicle oberon ossicles is a chain of bones and options a claustrum intercalarium scapium tripus b claustrum scapium intercalarium tripus c tripus claustrum scapium intercalarium d claustrum intercalarium scapium tripus and the right answer is b claustrum scapium intercalarium and tripus these are the sequence of the bones in the oberon ossicles 13th mouth brooder fish is dash dash mouth brooder fish mostly carry their ringworms in the mouth to take care of their ringworms and the options are a tilapia b anawas c folis that is butter fish and the signathus and the right answer is a tilapia 14 which of the following fish swims vertically first option is anabas b salmon c exocoitus d hippocampus mostly d hippocampus that is horse fish sea horse commonly called as sea horse is move vertically 15th chromatophore and iridocytes are mainly responsible in fish for dash dash a maturation b coloration c migration d excretion chromatophore that is the pigments are mostly responsible for and iridocytes are silver color and mostly responsible for the coloration of the fishes that is right answer is b coloration 16 in male swordtail fish 
which fin is a modified into long sword like structure that is a distinguished character in male sword tail a option pectoral fin anal fin lower lobe of caudal fin upper lobe of caudal fin and the right answer is a lower lobe of caudal fin is rich source of animal protein p poultry fish and ducks these are all the source of protein which is uh, of animal origin but fish is a rich source of animal protein mucus gland secretes a glycerin glycine mucin and mucosin and the right answer is a mucin 19 claspers are present in dash dash class a cocosti b clasmobranchi c dicnoin d teleostomy clasmers are mostly or always present in the clasmobranchi fishes that is uh, clasmers are present mostly in a male clasmobranchi fishes to assist the transfer of the sperms while copulation b scroll wall is a part of dash dash system a circulatory system b respiratory system excretory system and the digestive system and the right answer is the digestive system d digestive system thus we learn here the mcqs on paper first that is echo taxonomy and ecological adaptation also advise you to see the paper first part first for more informations and hope you score well in this test thank you